What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Jerry Show. Welcome back to another episode of me and the boys. <laughs> Yo! Yo, hide me up, hide me up, hide me up. Woo! Yeah, yeah. The Jerry Show is back once nah, again. Well, you guys, Let's go. You guys sound so excited to be Woo! in my video. Nah, I'm excited to trust. I'm Whoa, excited. Yeah, I'm excited. yeah. Now, what is going on, guys? We have survived Hurricane. What's it called, Jose? Her Barrow. Hurricane Berlin. Or whatever it was. Barrow. It's called a hurricane. If you guys didn't know, a hurricane hit Houston a couple days ago. I almost and, died. And um, you didn't almost die, but you were out of power for how many days? Like a day. A day? It was tough. <laughs> we were out of power for like a day as well. It was the worst. That Horrible. Yeah. We had no internet, no Wi-Fi, no I AC. I couldn't play CS, bro. I like, couldn't play COD. We had no water. I couldn't even shower. Oh, y'all didn't have water either? Nah. Me, like bro, barely me neither, bro. Me neither. That's crazy. I think we had water, just enough water for Ray to shower because he showered. And then I oh, tried. Oh, what up? Yeah, yeah. Then I tried nah, showering. Bro, I was there for like 30 minutes because barely any water was coming out. 30 oh, minutes really? shower? That's yeah. crazy, man. You know what's crazy too? I stayed home alone. I survived by myself. Yeti, you stayed, alone. Yeti, Yeti you stayed and Sunday, alone for bro. like five hours, bro. Nah, for the whole night, bro. Hey, that would have been low-key spooky. It was, bro. All the streets were dark. Like it was like a it was a scene out of a movie. Type yeah, thing, bro. bro nah. Movie. Every street was You know how my apartments dark. are indoor, right? Like, oh f no. F no, bro, I saw all I saw, dark, right? I saw Edwin's story. No, bro. but Edwin's kind of look. You can kind of see the hallway a little, bro. It was pitch dark. Pitch black. Pitch black. black like bro. they were like in an abandoned building or some. Yes, bro. If it was spooky, bro, I had to go to my parents to sleep over there. Oh well, I mean, I didn't have water either, so I had to. Shower Wait, you took shit. your cats and everything? No, no, no. I just left. Oh, them. you left your cats? Nah, in you left all your cats in the heat. No, no, not during the storm. During the storm, I had power and everything. It was yeah. the day after the storm that That's I didn't fun. have power. Nah, yeah, but we I mean, had the cats are fine. I we had brother. power to like, I think it was nah. like eight, bro. Bro, so that's so weird, like 6 huh? Yeah, that's weird because I lost power that's after fun. the storm, bro. Yeah. It was like, so, it was horrible. So if the world was ending, you'd dip and leave the cats behind. Ray, did you not <laughs> hear what I just said? You <laughs> dumb. Nah. Uh, bro. I said Protection during the storm, I uh, was there, okay? Yeah, and then uh, we I lost power, did. okay? We lost power. Exactly. The storm's over. Ya no estaba lloviendo, bro. <laughs> but there was still no electricity, no Damn. nothing. I yeah. felt them. It's not burning hot in there. What? Ray? <laughs> nah, that's funny as bro. Ray, you're dumb as exactly. Ray. You was like everybody for themselves. My cuz, they stayed behind. Just you left did. off four of them. Yeah. You're, you're pissing me off, bro, because that's no, not what happened yeah, at all, If bro. you did somewhere and you had a dog, would you not take your that's dog? That's different! Or... That's different! It's a cat, bro. They're... No! Oh, they have each shit. other. You dog. I left them for like five hours while I go slept. I returned the <laughs> morning, bro. What? And they're okay? Yes! They're uh, amazing, bro. bro. I'm glad they're okay, No, bro. you. I'm glad they would have no, been I'm glad they survived, head, bro, huh, Ray? This yeah. is acting like I left them behind. They probably what are you on? <laughs> How? How? They probably barely survived, bro. Uh, as you guys can see by the side of it, man, we're doing another uh, answering questions. Girls are too afraid to ask guys, man. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! I've done two of these videos in the past. Wait, I did one in 2022, 2023. So the last one I did was last July. So we had to run it back a year later. I got a couple questions to ask the boys that girls are too afraid to ask guys. All right. So you guys are horny bastards as usual you guys ask hella hella like mad mad weird ass questions about like <laughs> oh god and, and just that is very unnecessary to ask you know so we're gonna ask the good old relationship questions and the good old more on the good side questions all right this is a good one ladies and gentlemen is it true that if a guy likes a girl he will make it be known like i guess posting her putting her on tiktok you know a little tiktok dance you know hosey you, know, <laughs> you know a little like little move and shit is it true that when a guy likes a girl he will post her on his social medias no personally i don't think it's true i agree with you boys I think a guy can like a girl, not post her at all. I think it's so stupid when girls think like that. I mean, it's understandable why you think like that. But nowadays, man, back in my day, uh -huh. back in my day, man, we we ain't had no TikTok shit. We ain't had no Tic Tac yeah. shit. Yeah. None of that shit. Like back when you were going no up Instagram. Shit. Nah, we had love letters. Oh, mm. we had handwritten emails. love letters and emails. Mm. Don't forget had, about the yeah, emails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, have y'all ever wrote in a love letter before? Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, mm. I've, I've I've written a letter. Yeah, yeah, like. Oh, was it like, a love one though? Like a little yeah. Valentine's letter, you know? Mm. So had, how long was that? Huh? A little page. It was. It yeah, was like a good. A, you know what? I actually wrote a poem one time. <laughs> a roses is red. red. No, no, no. <laughs> it was actually funny. Was love. You're so it cute. Was funny. I wanna fuck you. <laughs>
Nah, it was funny. It was like, uh, yeah. like I had wrote this love letter because I was giving, you know, someone really special to me. I was giving her flowers and shit, and uh, I decided to write a little poem on the side of this like card that I gave her. You know, like the little cards that you give people. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little gift right. cards. Right. And uh, nah, I actually <laughs> forgot what it was, but it was so funny. I might have it in my camera roll because that shit was hilarious. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull but, it out. But yeah, I wrote this poem for this girl, and she loved it. Oh, it was something like roses are red, violets are blue. <laughs> No, 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 I actually remember now. I actually remember now. Look, it, the poem went, roses are red, violets are blue. I have five fingers, but tonight I'll give you two. Mm. Yeah, and she laughed and she liked it and she liked it. So I was, I felt hella rizzy. I felt mad rizzy. It was like a typical Yeti fucking love letter. Oh, yeah, 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 it was funny, it was funny. Like I thought it was going to be some yeah. lovey-dovey, but... The um, good old no, roses like, are red. Yeah, like <laughs> roses are red, violets are blue, like a half five fingers. That was about to be like some original shit, to be honest. No, it was original. Bro, roses and red. Oh. Roses are red, violets are blue. Every poem has roses and red. I have red. five fingers, but tonight you'll get two. That's Come on, bro. That's Rizzy. Yeah, bro. Clap it up for me, boys. Clap it up. I like me. that. I personally vouch for that. Would you use that? Uh, yeah. Right now, it's like a little funny. So yeah, unfortunately, like, uh, if I'm not posting you, that doesn't mean I don't like you. That just means like, what does it mean, boys? Help me out. I think there's also people out there that like to keep their like um private stuff. But what does it mean, like the relationship stuff, more private? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You don't need other people like. Budging hey, their cool. noses in that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree with Ray. Like, I agree with you, Ray. I feel like there is, especially me, like, I don't know about posting. I might sneak posty here and there, you know? Like me holding your hand or like, oh. like if we're at like, uh, like if we're having dinner, you know? The, I don't care about posting. Lobster. I don't care about posting. But I feel like some people make it a requirement. It's not even a requirement. Like, I'll post, I don't care, you know? It's like a little TikTok when I feel like it. I don't even post myself, to be honest. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, except the other day when you were in traffic, make, yeah, you so were like, mm, nah. Yeah, I was You're getting like third strapping on the traffic, ground the lately. Way. I ain't gonna lie, Keep bro. Keep the jawline stuck in traffic. I ain't gonna lie. Next question. Is a girl having a lot of bodies a turn off? Oh. <laughs> this is a big one for Ray. Let me know, Ray. Speak Only your mind. answer that question, Speak bro. your mind, Ray. Go ahead. Yes, it is. So this, this is an open Tesla, bro. Open book. Yeah, we can start off with, with Hosey. Oh, go ahead, Hosey. Yes, it is. It is? So do you personally ask like you're, I, well, now you're in a relationship, right? Look, here's my point of view, right, bro. I feel like if she got a lot of bodies just because she goes out, probably sleeps with guys on the first night out. Oh. So if we were dating and she were ever to go out, that'd probably be in the back of my head, bro. Like, she probably sleeping with another dude tonight or something, you know? Like, she been there hella times before. So it's I like regular scenes for her. So it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a hard So question. whenever you, like, go out and, like, let's say you find a shorty that you're attracted to, like, you doing that first night or, like, that's just not you. That's not me, but... But what if like, she lets you? Of, that's still or not what me. if she wants to? Like, that's you still, still not going there? Well, that shows me. her. <laughs> that shows her character, huh? Yeah, that shows her character. That's very true. For a new Camry? No miles or... <laughs> <laughs> I don't prefer a Camry. I well, prefer, you prefer the like... same Camry, but with 100,000 miles. Ah, okay. you see, but nowadays, there's no, like, there's none with zero And miles, it's not even bro. a guy and girl thing, bro. Even guys, like, <laughs> to be honest, like... I, I, I just have one thing to say. Personally, like, bodies, like a body count, I feel like I care to a certain point but i don't care that much you know like i care i care but i don't care like that no be, no like, yeah i'll show you and let, like as long as it's not fucking 50 or like fucking 30 and yeah, shit, yeah yeah like, like some crazy shit i understand shit. Like, you like, i have a pass yeah yeah, every yeah exactly. girl has a pass exactly every guy has a pass as well as, as long as it's not fucking 60 you know, like, 70 80 huh exactly triple yeah, digits exactly. that's what i'm talking about like, yeah very digits. true every girl has fucking like well most Look, I think five or less is valid. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Ten or more, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, double, Ten. double digits is like double digits. Double, like, yeah. I, I don't know. Once we get to double digits, yeah, I don't even got double digits, so it's like. Why would right, I now? That's not lying now. Nah, look, I feel like the older that you get, the less, um... <laughs> we got triple, huh? All right, chill <laughs> out, bitch. You're a hoe. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't got no triple, triple digits, bro. Oh, you, my God, triple you're digits. You're tripping. Hell no. Nah. I wouldn't even doubt it, bro. But look, all right, hosey. Watch the fuck out, bitch. Y'all some hoes. Nah, it doesn't feel good, huh? Nah, nah, because <laughs> triple digits, bro? Come oh, on, now, nah, bro. That's 100 trip, bro. plus, bro. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, look, the older that you get, the harder it is to find somebody who doesn't have a past, you feel me? Basically, who's never had sex. Like, you're not gonna find a at the age of 25, right? I'm about to be 25 right now in a month, so it's like... I'm pretty sure there's 25-year-old There is, yeah. but I'm, I'm saying that the older you get, the more difficult it is to find that, you know? For sure. The more difficult it is to find somebody at that age to not have had 
before not have been with somebody so i think the older that i get the less i kind of care about it because you know i have a past so i'm pretty sure that the other person i'm talking to has a past you know but um body count ca- body count is a difficult subject but personally yeah it is difficult but i mean it, yeah it's difficult man because i mean it, it, it is in the past and shit yeah, yeah who gives a and fuck do I, change, to be honest like, man i'm gonna keep it a stack i would re- i would rather just not fucking know so i'm just not gonna ask i mean you're gonna ask i'm just gonna not ask. gonna ask i, mean, I will i would just never ask i would never the, the fucking question would never be like how many day. bodies you got babe what do you guys prefer looks or personality damn that's good they both matter that's an easy question bro i, I mean, think those they could answer both too. matter though they both matter man enough of the <laughs> personality matters the most i think i think to start off like looks, or not actually personality, personality does matter more i'm gonna keep it a stack it does because there's there's people that are attractive but have no fucking personality and yes are yes. the most boring yes. oh, oh my gosh i'd be most boring that shit. people you feel me like yeah they both take into account yeah now nah, i personally think that both matter i couldn't choose one or the other because i can't personality matters way more you would choose personality i think i'm in yeah. between both because like no, it's both i'm not saying personality i'm saying like looks is what attracts you to them and i feel like personality is what makes you stay attaches you to them what yeah. the fuck that's a quote that's a quote looks is what attracts you to them personality, personality is what attra- attach- attaches you to them yeah. damn yeah yeah man to them and I Quarter day, quarter day right quarter there, quarter day. day. Wise man. Wise man once said. I'm going to go with, uh, they both matter, but I think that looks are very important just because that's the first thing that you get from somebody, you know? You first don't see impression. them and you know how they are, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, you see them and you see how beautiful or how good looking they are. That's very true. So, but I think they're both very important, like I said. Personality is very important, man. Why you, Ray? I hate a boring girl. I hate a girl that I can't <laughs> laugh with, you know? Yo, someone said off topic, but why the fuck haven't you taken down your Christmas tree. They're always asking that. Ah, uh, people. A lot of people ask me like, "Oh, is this an old video or like when was this filmed?" Because my Christmas tree still up. But personally, I was the one responsible to take it down and put it up. And I just haven't. You never ta- took it down, man. I just haven't taken it down because then the fucking house would just look dry. You say you're lazy, man. It's a bit of both. Anyways, my Christmas yeah, tree's man. up just because I'm a lazy fuck and I haven't taken it down. And honestly, we're closer to Christmas than we are to not Christmas, so I might as well just leave it up. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's valid. Like though. that's valid, right? That's valid. Point of view. Like we're in summer, like. We're in the seventh month already. We're closer to Christmas. We're closer to Christmas Are than we I'm really? not. Yeah, we're in the seventh really? month, so that means we're, we got five months. Holy shit. We got five months to Christmas. Christmas just passed, though. Nah. Insane, huh? Yeah, Christmas did just pass. Like, I was just buying gifts and shit. Now I gotta do it again. Fuck me, dude. What do you think of girls making the first move? Yo, we need more of that shit. Yeah. yeah. Wow, we need Wait, that. We need it? that. Oh, I could care less, man. Uh, Nah, I like girls who make the first move because, you know, then I'm more confident to talk and I don't feel like I have to try too much because I already know that she's interested in me. But then that's bad because, like, valid. girls want you to try, bro. Yeah, the only thing I do think about is that if she's coming up to me with that much confidence because, you know, girls don't usually do that. So if she's doing it, I mean, she's very confident. If she's coming up to me and making the first move or if she's the enemy making the first move, I'm not the first one who she's done it to. You feel me? That's what I think. Damn. You're right, but then you can say the same about guys. You feel me? We're expected to make the first move. So they probably think Bro, the same guys thing. are expected to make the first move, and I'd be a little bitch. I don't. I don't either. I don't, dude. And I've probably missed out on so many, so many dubs, huh, Ray? Hey, but Fuck, like when bro. you do make the first move, and it lands through, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit be so loud, bro. When you make the first move and then she with it, like ah, that's like the best feeling ever, bro. Because oh. it's like you send that text, you feel me? You gotta pretend like you didn't for a bit. Yeah, yeah. That shit makes you so nervous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you check back up on it. Boom, it landed. Oh my gosh. And then she like replied with the damn, I've been waiting on your text. Hey, I've had that. Like, oh, I've had that, bro. They're like, Crazy. oh, okay, okay. Like, let me get smooth real quick. How fast do you guys catch feelings? Let's go, Hosey. How fast did you catch feelings? Okay. Um, like, first night? Nah. Oh, it took a while? Yeah, I think maybe like a week. A week? Oh, I don't know. Nah, not feelings, but I think it takes a week for you to know, like, okay, I'm. I'm very interested in this person. I think after like three dates. Yeah, like not like time, but uh, dates. Nah, I catch feelings. Um, yeah, I'd say maybe in like a week, week and a half, two weeks. Damn. How fast do you catch feelings? I don't think it's based on time. It's just like how many times you see them. I say like. Well, a yeah, month. it really just depends on how often you're talking to the person. Yeah, that's true. you know, how or like often. how often you're. You need to spend time with them in person. Yeah. Let me ask you this: How fast do you get over somebody? Oh fuck! It just depends. Mm-hmm. I feel like yeah, it just depends. Let's say it was like a couple months. Like a couple months. 
months of dating? Not like talking. Oh, uh, talking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not nah, quick. That's quick. Couple months, like three, four months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, yeah, talk, nah. Talk, I, could, I could get over that maybe in like two weeks. Two weeks? But nah, if it's yeah. like, a, like a couple years or a year of like being with somebody, definitely takes up like a year. Right, or, you're still not over someone? Nah, yeah. hell nah. I'm. No, Ray. Oh. Nah, definitely, bro. What you mean? Stop hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hiding. Nah, bro. Ray, you're still hurting, Ray? This no. motherfucker is hurting over a two week talking no. station. No. <laughs> oh man, shit, man! I get overly attached. You feel me? That's it. Uh, Just the lover. You got attached too fast, bro. Just a little bit, boy. <laughs> Cringiest thing a girl can do. I think when I, she cracks bro. a joke and it's just not funny, man, because then I feel forced to laugh. Nah, I just be staring at my girl when she says some unfunny shit. Just, <laughs> I'll, like I'll, quiet? I'll let her know it's not funny. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> it's tough. She gotta earn my shit. Bro. <laughs> she fuck? gotta earn the hosey laugh. But she be funny sometimes, so that's yeah, funny. I'll give it to her. But like, yeah, that's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> nah, I feel like the cringiest thing a girl can do is ask a stupid ass question. I hate when I get asked a dumb ass question. Bro. And especially if I'm already in a bad mood. Like a dumb question. Like a dumb question. Bro, is like. Is that a girl thing? Do they think we're like Google or some shit? I, I don't like, fucking know, bro. My nah, girl but some be asking me like. Like obvious ass questions? Not obvious, but sometimes like. Obvious and like. Just questions stupid. And, like, just outrageously stupid. Not stupid, but like, how the fuck am I gonna know that type shit? Yeah, like, okay, okay. I feel I you. Know. Now, yeah, I think what makes me cringe the most is when a girl asks a really dumb question. I, I just personally don't like it. Like you know? What? Like what? Yeah. Oh, like. I, I recently went to the club and this is not somebody that I'm with or nothing, right? But I went to the club and this girl came up to me and she just straight, she knew who I was from like the internet and she just straight up asked me, she was like, are you a hoe? Like just straight up. And I was like, I was like, what do you mean? I was like, no, I'm not a hoe. I was like, you see me with anybody? I'm here with my homies. And she was like, that's what the internet is saying. And I was like, what the fuck? That shit made me cringe hello hard. And if you're watching, I just want to let you know you're cringy as fuck. That was very cringy of you. How about a hi hello next time? Can you guys forgive cheating? Another Man, this is the last question. Fuck it. Last question of the video, man. Can you guys forgive cheating? Yeah, I've never been so, there, man. I don't know. That's more of like you got to experience it to know type of thing. Oh, uh, I'd like to say no. I'm going to say no. Only because I think if it happens to you, it's always going to be in the back of your head. You know? Yeah, it's just like shit not going to be the same, you know? Like, it's like. Trust is broken. It's just not the same. I think the thing is that, like, especially with us guys, bro, when we think about cheating, we think about like, like our girl having a sexual relationship. You know what I mean? Whereas like girls take cheating like hella differently than us. Cheating to girl can be texting, can be Man, flirting, like breaking trust, things like that. Yeah, it's breaking trust. But like for me, cheating is nah, like. but there's definitely levels, I think. Because I can forgive like if my girl is like flirting with another guy and I catch her. You feel me? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I can forgive that. I can forgive that. That's like, like something that you can. Don't let me catch you again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like that's something that you can work on and forgive, right? <laughs> Like that's the first time you, you caught her, bro. But that might not be the first time she done it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. That so is the like, first time you catch it, but it's not. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's very hard to say. Like Ray said, it's like something you have to experience. Cause like in the moment, it's so different. You know. Right now you're calm and collected, and like yeah, I don't go fuck. But like once you feel the emotion, it's like different. Yeah, it is a lot different, huh? I don't know. I feel like I can forgive anything that is like not sexual. You feel me? Yeah, like she over here sending news and shit. Like, sorry. Ah, nah, I don't know if I can forgive that. I mean, it's kind of sexual so actually. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's sexual. sexual. If you had a girl, would you rather her cheat sexually or emotionally? What does an emotional cheating look like? Emotional is like her catching feelings for someone without fucking. Sexually is just her fucking someone else. Yeah, I'd rather her not cheat at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be single, to be honest, bro. <laughs> like, keeping it real. Fuck all that. Uh, I'm sure that hurts so much, man. Yeah, I've never been cheated on. At least I don't think I have. And if I have, fuck you. How long did you guys last in your casi algo relationship? Casi algo? What is yeah, it? That's, like a, that's like somebody that... Oh, that you like almost you were, made? Yeah, that like you. Ray, mm. take it away. Go ahead, Ray. I've never been in that position. What the honest. fuck? Ray, you're such a, you're such a little bitch, bro. I'm a little bitch how, bro? Just answer the question. I don't talk to a woman like that. You were just talking to me, bro. How long was your casi algo, Ray? A couple months? I guess like, I don't know. Like, was it weeks or months? Nah, it didn't even make it to months. It was like weeks, right? It made it to like a month and a half, I think. It was like three months. Nah, Wait, whatever nah, happened, nah, you never nah. told me shit, bro. You're a bitch. Me and my casi algo right now, we're a year strong, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's go. Year That's anniversary. So horrible, bro. Year anniversary. Gosh, you're actually <laughs> such a pussy. That's crazy. Bro. So you're like, you don't celebrate. I like, know women watching this nah, hate you right now. We bro. don't celebrate anything, bro. What is there to celebrate? We don't have an anniversary. <laughs> what is there to celebrate? <laughs> That's so oh, shitty, huh? 
talking gosh. stage, Brody. You're such yeah, I've been in the talking like stage that. for a year now. I'm just really trying to figure her out, you know. <laughs> and I really, I wanna, really wanna get to I know really her. wanna get to know her <laughs> before any <laughs> Yo, someone asked, I haven't so? had my first kiss with my boyfriend. How do I know if he wants to? He don't want you, man. Nah, <laughs> he doesn't want he you. Ain't kiss you. He if he's your boyfriend you. and he asked you out already and he hasn't kissed you, How that's not your boyfriend. Your boyfriend then? If he like you, he just gonna go for it, bro. Why is he your boyfriend? Your How old that's are you? Your man. How old are you? Why do y'all be lying about y'all's body count? Because that shit's personal. Facts. Who asked that? I bet she's lied before. Body with no personality or ugly girl with the best personality. Yellow and Ray. Damn, oh. they specified. They said <laughs> Damn, Damn, man! man. Damn, I was man. about to give my ass. <laughs> oh, fuck, they fumbled. Oh. Right, I guess I shut the fuck up now. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say an ugly girl I'm with say the it. best personality. Yes. And no offense at all, right? But I once, I had a friend. I thought she was like media What fanita. if it's like... I thought she was kind of No, no, what if she like... Horrendous, though. That's different. I don't, no, no, no. Nah, I like mean, ugly. I mean, bro, this girl <laughs> like wasn't... Like ugly. Like, uh, you, do you have someone in mind that's just like so ugly? Ugly. Oh yeah. I mean, like, actually, yeah. You like think of that? Yeah, bro. That, but like, she has an amazing personality. <laughs> it depends what the ugly level oh, is, cause I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the most attractive it's, person, it's right? It's up but. there. It's up there. It's like level ten right now. Ah, level I'm, level eight, ugly. I've been on both sides, bro. I feel oh, like I've been on both you sides. You been there? I've been, been with a pretty best. girl with no personality. Yes, I have, and I was miserable. Like, I really was, bro. Like, right. I couldn't wait to break things off, but I just didn't have. To do it. I think if it's a level 10, like Hosey's talking about, I'm gonna take the baddie with no personality. Fuck it, eh? Fuck He's it, gonna I be just, bored for the rest of I'll your life. I'll just be bored with a bad bitch, though. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on. Would I rather be oh. fucking smiling and laughing with an ugly girl yes, or bored bro. as fuck with a baddie? Would you rather be laid oh, up bro. in bed, bored, miserable, You have enough or personality in for both of y'all, huh? Yeah, bro. Exactly. Like, I'll give her something. Bro, it, look, bro, you can train her. He's you can train her. Wait, what? Eventually, your personality. Wait, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean train her, bro. I was gonna say it's gonna rub off on her. Well, yeah, same thing. Like, Trade is you can crazy, you can kind of like you know when uh, you're with a girl what the for fuck so is she a Pokemon? <laughs> no, bro, but you know when you're with a girl for so long that she like picks up on your lingo, she picks up on your things. That's a banger, huh, Chad? Right, she picks up on your stuff. Eventually, it's she's gonna have personality. You somebody, feel me? somebody quote that. What is she a Pokemon? <laughs> Do men talk about women in a delusional way like their friends or with their friends like girls do? What do you mean? Uh, like, like do guys fuck. talk about about girls or like a, a girl that they know in like a delusional way? Like you know? how? We never done it so I wouldn't know. I mean, I, I've done it with Ray a couple times. <laughs> nah, right, what? Uh, okay, my fault. Have Ray. you? Have we? I don't know. I've done it with, with my cameraman, Luis. We be going to the gym and he'll be like, yo, like that's my future wife right there. Like, chill out. Oh. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't never spoken to her. Not a word. Said ever. Yeah, yeah. Like, he'd be like, yo, that's my wife. Like you, <laughs> like you, uh, like you caught dibs on it, kind of. Like, like oh, yeah. you can't talk to her because like I'ma do it one day. Yeah, we're just fucking yeah. around. Like, yo, that's my wife. You're talking about right there. Yeah, know? I've done it before with my with my homie with my homie Noe, but I don't think I've done it with you guys. Oh, question for me and Ray. How do y'all like y'all's new roommate? This isn't like a uh, uh, too afraid to ask, but I fuck with Pablo, man. He's Shout been a Pablo. vibe. He's been such a vibe at the house. I love that motherfucker. What do guys do if they're uninterested in a girl? Probably be dry. Yeah, I be hella <laughs> dry. I be dry. <laughs> like, I'm talking about, like, I take hours to reply. Bro, you know what? Sometimes it's not even that I'm not interested. Sometimes it's just that I don't have the energy to, like, meet somebody new. You feel me? The small Process. talk and shit. Yeah, like, I don't have the energy for the, yo, how do you, like, living in your city? Or, oh, oh shit, we should hang out sometime. Or, like, let, you know, like, uh. Like, just come to my house and let's watch Netflix already. Cuddle. That's more fun, no? Yeah, I think next time, like, just tell a girl that. Yo, <laughs> yeah, skip the small talk. <laughs> Just come like we're gonna end up in this position anyways. Like we might as well get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you should run. actually try yeah, that. Yeah. Run. Speed run. Okay, <laughs> a speed run. A speed run. Ooh, it's a good That's one for Ray right here. Why are guys scared of committing to something? Jose, were you scared when you were about to be committed? Oh. Hey, when you asked your girl out, you just, you were like, yo, you want to be my girlfriend or what? Like, you told her like that? Yeah, because we were already basically acting like boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, when you really like someone, you commit. Nah, but I feel like as a guy, you can really like somebody and 
Just say you're a whore, man. No, it's not that though. It's not that at all. It's like, true, cause why would you not want to put the label on it? Just cause I'm you saying. simply like, like keep not, fucking yeah, around. Yeah, I hope that's you why. sound like uh Bro, sometimes you can like somebody, but you just aren't sure about the person because there's certain things you don't like about them and you don't know if that's what you want, you know? For like a year though. Yeah, I got his ass. Uh. <laughs> look, so, <laughs> look. Yeah, nothing to say after that. <laughs> look, like you can you can have somebody that you really like and, oh, and you really <laughs> fuck with, but there can also be things that you overthink about, or there could be things that you know in your mind you're like, man, what if it like what if they change it and then you know we can live like this or like we'll be good like this, but then in your head you're like, oh, what if they don't ever change? So then, then you're like, I might as well not go into that, you know, because then the things get mad complicated sometimes when it's a relationship. Might as well cut her off then. But I like her. That sounded like a you problem. But I like her so much though. Like I don't want to cut her off. Aww. Are you basically asking us for relationship advice? But I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fuck you guys, bro. If you loved her, why haven't you cuffed her? I say just put the label on it, test the water. Because you have a gut feeling, right? It's that gut feeling, my boy. A gut feeling about what? I don't know. I mean, you haven't cuffed, so apparently you're feeling some type of way, right? I've heard that always trust your intuition. Your intuition is always right. I don't know, man. Fuck it, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to leave the video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, I love you guys, and I will see you guys next fucking week. Peace. Peace.